From a distance, you might think that Mary Nyarwai is simply disposing of agricultural waste at her home in Thika on the outskirts of Nairobi. But what she is actually doing is making biodegradable sanitary pads. After facing difficulties finding safe quality pads herself, Nyarwai thought of a solution using readily available raw materials. Maize is a staple in Africa and this, this is waste. So I, I normally go and collect it from the market and this is also waste. This leaves, pineapple leaves are waste, so I also collect them from the farms. So when you combine that two, you make a very beautiful pad that is soft and also absorbs, it gives, delivers on comfort and also absorption and it's also sustainable. Once collected, these agricultural waste undergo rigorous processes to break down the natural fibers and mold the raw materials into biodegradable sanitary pads. Nyarwai's company is called Nyungu Africa, loosely translated to Womb of Africa. Her pads are getting good reviews. The difference was quite significant. It felt like I was sitting on clouds because the material is very different. Her pads are very soft. The absorbency is good. It becomes really quite a lifesaver for yourself. In 2019, there was a widespread outcry on Kenyan social media questioning the quality of some pads on the market. Kenya's health ministry says it is attempting to maintain quality standards for the sanitary pads produced and sold in Kenya to protect consumers as well as the environment. The strategy uh, was broadly uh, uh, looking at uh, sanitation being a, a person-friendly issue. Now, the bigger thing or the new thing in that uh, strategy is that um, we were looking at uh, empowering uh, the individuals to be able to act. Nyarwai hopes her innovation can help Kenyan women not only with their health but also with their financial well-being. Period poverty is a global crisis, but because Africa has a very large population of women who are marginalized and underserved, this is where period poverty really eats our women. This is a very, it's a makeshift small industry. So it, it is possible to be replicated in very many areas, just to train the women how to, you know, um, pick the right raw materials and to process them and then to make the pads. And best of all, the pads are not made of plastic, which means they do no harm to the environment. Juma Majanga for VA News, Thika, Kenya.